I designed this space for um, a professional couple with their young five-year-old child and their very big dog. They were looking for a really functional but modern space that was really well suited for a lot of family time and they do a lot of entertaining and a lot of cooking themselves so they needed a space that had a really well laid out kitchen. The space was very different because the kitchen was in the back of the home. There was not much light in connection to the backyard so we've also opened that up and put a big sliding door so there's a nice visual. It was divided by a wall so there was just a doorway from the living room to the kitchen so we've switched the orientation of where the living space and the kitchen is. To make this kitchen more functional we added a lot of storage and we also added a lot of counter space and the island actually works very well. Their child can sit here and have snacks and watch while they're cooking and it's an area to serve as well. Definitely my favorite decor element would be the chevron accent panels that we have on the back of the island and also the back of the secondary pantry space. They're actually pieces of different types of reclaimed wood that all got cut down and put together in this chevron pattern. So there's different species of wood from different places. And then some of them, we accentuated the color. We left the space all open, but we wanted the continuity of these cabinets. They're extremely functional. The end cabinet gets used as a wardrobe, and then the rest get used as pantry and storage space. We also use the kitchen cabinets as their living room shelving. Those are the spots that are inset a little bit, and they actually have a different finish to them as well. So they go from the gloss to the sort of lightly wood texture. And we also have the repetition of the brick inserts, so we have similar elements in the kitchen and the living room for some continuity. We also designed a powder room which is situated between the kitchen and the corridor to the dining and living spaces. We thought this tile was a really stunning thing to see beyond the sliding door, so we really wanted to take it floor to ceiling just for a visual impact. The black oil rub finish on the plumbing fixtures was a really nice match, and the industrial mirror was actually a housewarming gift from me to the client. I'd say the most important feature in the living room was the large window and view to the outside. The backyard's beautiful and they have this lovely gigantic tree and they wanted a view to their child playing outside. So that was definitely the most important element of the living room. No TV, that was discussed and they didn't want a TV sitting out all the time. So this is more for reading, relaxing, that type of thing. The furniture was a challenge to lay out in the living room because we wanted furniture that felt like it was well connected to the kitchen. It was a longer, narrower living room, so we wanted to customize the length of the couch. Another feature that the clients love about this kitchen is the built-in banquette that we put in the bay window. They use that most of their regular lunchtime and breakfast eating and also sitting at a laptop to work and their son does crafts there and plays there. So it's a pretty important part of living in this larger room that's kitchen and living room and eating area all in one. This room definitely functions as the main hub for the family. That's what they wanted it to be. And so I feel like it was successful because they find that it's a great place to cook. They have a nice, very tight cooking triangle, lots of space to work in, and everybody in the family, including the dog, is in this space all the time. <laughs>